I'm Tiffany Calcutt of Harvest Nutrition and Wellness, your family registered dietitian nutritionist. Today I'd like to share a recipe for mocha soy latte. I find warm beverages very comforting, kind of like a hug that you can drink. Um, and in these uncertain times, it's nice if there are things or rituals that can bring you peace and soothing. So I'd like to tell you about this one. There are two main advantages to this recipe for a mocha latte over store-bought alternatives. The first one is about cost. So making this recipe at home for a 16 ounce drink will run you about a dollar and 35 cents. Whereas if you go to your local cool coffee shop or Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, you're likely to pay about three times that. The second advantage is nutritional. You gotta figure I'm gonna finagle that in there some way, right? Um, this recipe is far lower in sugar, which means it's going to be lower in carbohydrates, and yet it is a great source of some protein, actually as much as one and a half eggs. So how do we do that? Let me show you the ingredients. Um, the base, is actually going to be a cup of coffee. So we're gonna make that, but those are the coffee grounds. Um, and then we're going to be adding milk. And I like to use, uh, in this our house we have West Soy. Um, it's an unsweetened soy milk. That's where the nine grams of protein are coming from. And the reason that I suggest soy milk as opposed to other milk options is first of all, so our vegetarian and vegan friends can enjoy this drink. Second of all, trying to incorporate more plant-based foods. So this is going to be good for our health as well as for the planet. And then the other reason is soy milk has far more protein than other non-dairy milks. So comparing it to almond, cashew, rice, oat milk, soy is gonna be the leader in terms of giving you more protein. Okay, so we've got the coffee, the soy milk, and to get deliver that chocolate fix, um, unsweetened cocoa powder. Hershey's is very easy to find in almost every baking aisle of the supermarket. And this is great because there's no sugar added to it. And it also is a good source of fiber, believe it or not. It delivers two grams of fiber. And then vanilla, because vanilla adds a some sweetness to the profile without putting in any sugar. And then for your own individual tastes, you could certainly um, add a teaspoon or two of sugar so that it meets your liking. Let's start making the latte. So the first step is just to brew eight ounces of coffee at home the way you normally would. So whether it's through a drip, um, an old fashioned coffee maker, K cups, BD data, and just coffee, decaf, regular, whatever you're fancy. Then we're going to uh, put in the one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. Put that right in there. And we're going to put in the half teaspoon of vanilla. That's probably the most expensive ingredient in this drink is the vanilla extract. Okay, and then we're gonna stir that up. Meanwhile, I've been warming up the eight ounces of soy milk. I chose to do it on the stove, but you certainly could do it in the microwave, that's no problem. Okay, so then once the soy milk is warm, we're going to pour that in. A little spill never hurt. Okay, I'll clean that up later. And then I'm gonna taste it first, and then decide how much sweetness I need. Okay, a little bit of sugar would be nice but you could have it to your liking. So this is a teaspoon and a half. Uh, maybe I won't even need that much, so let's just try it after that. But you make it how you like it. Even with two teaspoons of sugar, this latte will total 17 grams of carbohydrates, which is far less than the variety at Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, for example, which are closer to 40 to 60 grams of carbs, so that's a win. The silver lining of doing so much cooking at home these days is the fact that we tend to add less sugar 
to our taste when we are preparing it ourselves than when we purchase packaged foods or out at restaurants. So, please try making one, enjoy the warmth, share the recipe with a friend, and if you care to see the full nutritionals or the details of the recipe, visit harvestnutritionandwellness.com. Hope to see you soon.